I'm washing my hair today, and so I'm going to show you all of the products that I use, and I'm going to show you exactly how I go through my hair routine to bring me from this to this. The only thing that you are going to notice is different about my hair routine, and this is very different from my other hair routines, is that I did recently switch to using a shampoo bar. Um, and I'm doing it for environmental reasons. I was inspired by a friend of mine who has very long, very thick hair. And out of my group of friends, I would say that she's doing the best. But we've all been kind of slowly, and a lot of you guys are probably doing the same thing if you're not already, you know, there. Um, but I've been very slowly trying to change some of my daily habits in order to do things that are a little bit more environmentally conscious. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I'm not all phony baloney. I'm not going to come on here and pretend like I'm a perfect environmentalist because I'm switching to shampoo bars. This is just something that I found was attainable, that I feel good about, and I really love the results that you get from this. Um, and I'm going to tell you all the great reasons for using a shampoo bar, but then in the same video, I use this conditioner. So, Tresemme. You know, I doubt they're the most environmentally conscious company. I buy this because it's cheap and it's easy for me to get and it works well in my hair. So like I said, I'm trying to make little changes in my life. I'm not perfect, um, but I'm going to keep it real and show you all the products that I actually use that are my favorite products. This video is obviously not sponsored and you're going to notice that some of the products I have been using in every video <laughs> since I started making videos four years ago. Shower time. <laughs> let my hair air dry all the way for this video because I feel like most of you would prefer to diffuse your hair for lack of time. Um, but if I was to let my hair air dry all the way, I usually use two little claw clips because I am too lazy to very strategically root clip all of my roots. I just take two little claw clips and I kind of pile this part of my hair up towards the top of my head and clip it on either side. And what happens is it sort of forces um, my roots into like more of an upright position when my hair is drying so it does create a little bit of volume if I keep these clips in until my hair is a hundred percent dry it's going to make kind of a wonky hair pattern so when my hair is about I don't know 75 80 percent dry I would take the clips out scrunch out any kind of cast that I had from my gel and then go for today's video um, I am going to diffuse my hair most of the way 
because I feel like that is what the majority of you do. I'm going to do a little bit on camera, but I'm also going to link uh, my diffusing video here, and I still basically do um, all of the same things that I did in that video, so if you want like an in-depth explanation of why I diffuse my hair the way I diffuse it, uh, then you can definitely watch that video. <music> Here is how my hair turns out. It's much curlier um, than you would probably think if you only watched the beginning of the video. And uh, I only used three things. Like I said, I used a shampoo bar, a conditioner, and a gel. That's it. And my curls feel very moisturized. I have enough definition without my hair being like super weighed down. And my routine was really simple and that is something I definitely like. I am going to go through the products that I used and I'll also show you some products that I use um, not every day but every other day. So this is the shampoo bar that I used. I don't know for a hundred percent sure if this is the one because I've only used it a few times. This is by a company called Odacite or Odacite? No idea guys, you know that I'm terrible at pronouncing things but this is a company from California. It's the Argon and Coconut Soap Free Shampoo Bar. Um, and it's good for, it says 50 to 80 washes. This would last me forever. It saves up to three plastic bottles. And you saw it in the video. I just wet the bar, rubbed it in my hands to create a lather, and then used that to wash my hair. This bar is soap free. Um, when I was using it, like the first couple of times I used it, I really felt like it was over cleansing my hair. So my hair had like a really, really, like especially the roots, like a really, not squeaky clean, but almost like a too clean feeling. I don't know how to describe it. So I thought that my hair would be really dry and frizzy looking, but my final result um, is not what I expected. And I definitely feel like it is cleansing without drying my hair out. So I do like it. Um, there are a couple of oils in it, so I'm wondering if I uh, use it over time, if it's going to, you know, create some kind of an oily film in my hair or something like that. On the box it says it's for thin, straight, curly, frizzy, thick, colored, or treated hair. So it's for any hair type, um, and it did work really well, but because I only used it a few times, I don't know if this is the shampoo bar of all shampoo bars. So if you have one that you guys really like, or if you have a sulfate-free shampoo that you really, really love, um, please leave it in the comments section below. I followed up with this conditioner. This is the Tresemme um, Botanic Conditioner. This is one of the only Tresemme conditioners that doesn't have silicone in it. And it's actually kind of hard to find because a lot of the bottles look similar, but not all of them are silicone-free. So you just want to make sure you look at the ingredients. And right here it actually says zero dyes, parabens, or silicones. And I've been using this conditioner for a long time. It is a little bit heavy. Um, not like super duper heavy, um, but it is a little bit heavy. So if you feel like your hair gets weighed down really easy, you want, might want to water this down or you might want to use a thinner conditioner. But I've been using this conditioner for like four years and it's cheap and easy to find. Again, I don't know if Tresemme is the best most environmentally conscious company. So eventually I would like to switch my conditioner. Then for my styling product, I used Just Gel. And in a lot of my old videos, I used Just Gel. Not only did I use Just Gel, I used just this gel. I am still absolutely in love with this gel. This company still pays me zero dollars. Um, and I promote this gel in every one of my videos because I really like it. This gel actually has humectants, emollients, and an occlusive in it. So it does have ingredients in it that help your hair to, you know, absorb and retain moisture. And uh, I just love it. It's not a super strong hold gel. It will give you a cast if you use a lot of it, especially if your hair isn't soaking wet. But I apply this to my hair um, using the praying hands technique. You probably saw me doing that in the shower. I just gently smooth it over my hair. And then I take, once it's all applied to my hair, I take my dripping wet hair with the gel in and I squeeze it up towards my roots to like distribute the gel throughout my hair. I've been doing that again for years um, and it gives me just enough hold without creating too much of a cast that I have to scrunch out especially if I um, 
squeeze the excess water out of my hair with a t-shirt like I show you that kind of removes some of the product as well but um, I've had nothing but amazing results using this and out of everything I've ever promoted on my channel I would say like 90% of people that watch my videos who have tried this gel say that they love it so um, I'll be sticking to this if you want to do something very environmentally conscious or if you want to use something with a little bit cleaner ingredients you can always make your own gel out of flaxseed I've done that before and it works awesome so I'm going to leave a link to that uh, up here and in the description box below that's something else that you can do they're the only three products I used I got a great result and that's what I do on a regular basis if my hair is really really dry I will sometimes use a hair cream or a leave-in conditioner and I just kind of alternate between the two. So right now the leave-in conditioner that I like that I've been using for years is this one. It's by Shea Moisture. It's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In. A little bit goes a long way. So I dilute this with water and I apply it to my soaking wet hair and then I just put the gel over top so I will use this or sometimes I will use a hair cream and for the longest while the hair cream that I really liked um, is this Cantu Shea Butter uh, I think it's called a Curl Activator Cream yeah and this is silicone free too and again a little bit goes a long way so I mean like a dime sized amount diluted in a ton of water gives me um, enough moisture and definition and it just comes in a big bottle so like I will have this probably for years um, I'll probably use it until it expires and probably even a little bit after that to be honest but I really do like this cream if you use too much of it you are not going to like it because it will weigh your hair down but if you use just the right amount um, it is great but uh, I always feel like you should try doing a routine without adding in all of these um, extra ingredients first the last product that I do use on occasion is I will use mousse. So if I went through my whole styling process and I feel like my hair is a little bit frizzy or I didn't put enough gel in it or it just doesn't have enough product, I don't have the look that I want, I will very quickly just add a little bit of water to my hair with a spray bottle or just like with my hands under the tap, just add a little bit of water back to my hair and I will scrunch in a mousse. The mousse I like is this one. It's by Herbal Essences or Herbal Essences I should say. Uh, totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. This does have polyquats in it. Some of you don't like that as an occlusive. Um, but I don't find this build up on my hair at all. There's no silicone in it. Um, and I really like that. So I don't want to confuse you guys by showing you these products. Um, because I don't use them on a regular basis. I just use the shampoo, the conditioner, um, and the gel. But sometimes I will play around with using this stuff. And then the last thing that I learned um, a few months ago when I kind of stopped following the curly girl method and went back to using like just the old products I really used to like is that my hair does benefit from kind of switching up your products every once in a while so if you've been following the curly girl method for a long time and you have your own hair routine or if you try this hair routine and it works really well for you you might notice that you're following it you're following it your hair looks awesome 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 and then all of a sudden your hair just kind of stops performing it looks limp or um, it's just not curling the way you want it to. Sometimes it's a good idea to give your hair a good wash with a different shampoo or a shampoo that has sulfate in it. Um, try something else for a few washes and then go back to your old styling routine and, uh, and that can really help. But anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a big ol' thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next curly hair video. Bye.